Hi, this is Manos Perlakis and Peter Taiti from the Minneapolis Heart Institute presenting case 4 for the manual of non-CTO coronary interventions. This is a case of ST segment elevation myocardial infarction due to occlusion of an anomalous right coronary artery. The patient presented with inferior STEMI. We did an angiogram using right radial approach as we do for all STEMIs that uh, demonstrate a complex bifurcation lesion in the proximal LAD. But then we had significant difficulty engaging the right coronary artery. After multiple attempts, we were able to see that the RCA had an anomalous anterior takeoff, anterior and inferior. But then we tried several guide catheters to engage it and we were unable to. That is why we switched to femoral axis. Once again, we had significant difficulty engaging. We used a hockey stick, AL1, JR4, it did not work. And actually, we even used a guide catheter extension in an attempt to better wire the RCA, but we were unable to do so. During all this, the patient did have an episode of uh, ventricular fibrillation requiring defibrillation, and uh, that added to the urgency of the procedure. After multiple attempts, and while we were actually contacting the cardiac surgeons in case we were unable to recanalize the right coronary, we were finally able to engage the right coronary with a 2.0 amplex guide catheter that was uh, advanced over a long femoral sheath. You can see the marker of the sheath here, providing extra support. After doing that, we were able to wire the lesion relatively easily and uh, deployed a long drag eluting stance. The patient did have a bradycardic response after standing and required um, atropine, but he had overall a good result with um, restoration of TM3 flow and resolution of the ST segment elevation. And later in the same hospitalization, he underwent successful PCI of the LAD diagonal bifurcation. The diagonal was a very calcified balloon undilatable lesion that was treated with high pressure balloon inflations. And finally, good flow was restored in the LAD as well. This case demonstrates that anomalous origin should be considered when there's difficulty engaging a coronary artery. This is particularly important in cases of myocardial infarction, especially STEMI, when time is of essence and things are moving very quick. In cases like this, it may be challenging to engage the anomalous coronary artery and uh, using femoral access might prove easier, especially if long seats are used. And also extensions of the guide catheters can help sometimes engage the some anomalous right coronary arteries. Having an open mind and having uh, knowledge of various types of guide catheters can help uh, facilitate engagement. In some cases, a diagnostic catheter is the only one that can actually engage the vessel in, and in those cases, what can be done is advance an exchange length, Ironman, or mailman or other supporting guide wire into the coronary through the diagnostic catheter and then use that long, uh, very supportive guide wire to exchange for a guide catheter. Thank you very much.